Hello, welcome to another installment of Acid Zip with me, Alicia. Today, we're going to talk about herpes labialis, also known as oral herpes. Oral herpes is an infection of the lips, mouth, or gums due to the herpes simplex virus. It causes small, painful blisters commonly called cold sores or fever blister. Oral herpes is a commonly infection of the mouth area. It is caused by the herpes simplex virus type 1 or HSV1. Most people in the United States are infected with this virus by the age 20. After the first infection, the virus becomes dormant in the, ner in the nerve tissues in the face. Sometimes the virus later reactives causing cold sores. Herpes virus type 2 or HSV2 usually causes genital herpes. However, sometimes HSV2 spreads to the mouth during oral sex, causing oral herpes. Oral herpes is really contagious. It's very easy to infect another person with HSV1. The virus spreads through direct contact, through skin contact, or contact with oral or genital secretions, like through kissing. Although the virus is most contagious when a sore is present, it can still be passed or even if you can't see a sore. HSV1 can also be spread by sharing a cup, eating utensils, or lip balm, or lipstick with someone who has it. In addition, if you or your partner gets cold sores on the mouth, the herpes simplex virus 1 can be transmitted during oral sex and cause herpes in the genital area. Herpes simplex virus 1 also can spread if a person touches the cold sore and then touches a mucous membrane or an area of the skin with a cut on it. Mucous membranes are the moist, protective linings made of tissue that are found in a certain areas of your body, like your nose, eyes, mouth, and vagina. So it's best to not mess with a cold sore, don't pick, pinch, or squeeze it. Actually, it's a good idea to not even touch active cold sores. If you do touch an active cold sore, don't touch other part of your body. Be especially careful about touching your eye. If it's get into the eye, HSV1 can cause a lot of damage. Wash your hand as soon as possible. In fact, if you have a cold sore or you are around someone with a cold sore, try to wash your hand frequently. If they are not taken care of properly, cold sore can develop into bacterial skin infection and they can actually be dangerous for people whose immune system are weakened, such as infants and people who have cancer or HIV or AIDS, as well as those with eczema. For people with any of these conditions, an infection triggered by a cold sore can actually be life-threatening. While cold sores are most contagious when they are oozing fluids, the virus can be transmitted to others even during times when you have no blisters. While the virus itself cannot be completely eradicated from the body, cold sores will usually start to heal on their own within a few days. But if they cause pain or make you feel embarrassed, they can be treated. Conventional treatment may include skin creams, ointments, or sometimes pills. Treatment may get rid of the cold sores only one to two days faster, but it can also help to ease painful blisters or other uncomfortable symptoms. However, those treatments are expensive and only provide temporary relief. The irritating, itching, burning, and peeling will likely to recur. Complementary homeopathic treatments, on the other hand, are known to be quite effective. They are holistic and comprehensive in nature and do not carry the same side effects and economical costs associated with taking antiviral medication on a daily basis. Herbs such as echinacea can help grant relief from different herpes symptoms. Baking soda aids in drying out moisture from oozing lesions, thus making the blister disappear sooner. Lysin, which is an essential amino acid, may also be used to prevent an outbreak by blocking arginine that plays an important role in the replication of the herpes virus. Lastly, if you want to find relief from the burning sensation and manage flare-ups, try using a cool tea bag or a reputed brand of aloe vera cream. Thank you for joining us in our continued discussion on sexually transmitted diseases. For more info and articles on herpes and other STDs, please visit stdzip.com. Don't forget to leave a comment, rate my video, and hit that subscribe button. This is Alicia signing off. Ciao!